Welcome to our video. In this video I'm going to show you how to assemble a Hall Stage T60 track with an overlap and operated by a handline. I've assumed you've already watched our earlier video on how to assemble a walk-along track which shows you how to put a track together and how to extend the various track pieces. So for the purposes of this video, we already have ourselves a piece of track here and this will be to one side of the stage and then we have a second piece of track which is going to overlap the first piece. Now when you're installing a proper overlap track on your stage, you need to make the overlap by about half a metre. So the curtain at the front comes well past the curtain at the back. In order to support the centre of the track, you need an overlap track clip and that looks like this, and that's the kind of pack you'll get when you get your kit from the manufacturers. Now what you, what you get is two little pieces of steel like this, with little cutouts already. And you put one on the front track and one on the rear track. Another piece on top. And then you have U-bolts that fit through One of the common mistakes that people make, and it's at this point you discover it, is that they assemble the, the U-bolt on the fixing clamp the wrong way up. If you're using standard runners, it doesn't make any difference. So if it's a walk-along track, but the minute you have anything that involves some form of hand line or cable pulling, you'll find it doesn't get past that point. So what you have to make sure you do is assemble it with the U-bolt coming in from the top. And so that runs underneath like that. And then we'll turn this one round the right way as well and you'll see what we mean. Now we could leave the track like that if you wanted to leave it as a walk-along operated track because the curtains would go quite comfortably along that. But as I'm showing you how to make a handline operated track, we now need the next two items, which are the pulleys to go at the end. And you'll end up with two sets of pulleys, one for either end. One with two rollers, or one that's a single pulley. It doesn't matter which end you can put the pulleys. You can either pull it from that end, or you can pull it from that end. The one with the two pulleys is the end where the rope is going to hang down. So that's the end you're going to pull it from. So for the sake of this video, we'll have these two pulleys on that end, and we'll operate the track from this side. If you notice on this pulley, it sticks out past this little bit of steel here, which is what the whole thing fixes to the track with. You need to make sure that this bit is on the side of the track where the overlap is. This pulley is going to bolt onto the end of the track like this, and then when we string the track, the hand line is going to come up the inside of the track, through here, around the pulley, and then back in the other direction. Now, you'll see on this assembly we have two pulleys, and where people always get it wrong, and they curse a lot when they do them, is that they f forget that you have two pulleys for two bits of track. And so they fix this on the top, but they get it on the wrong side. One pulley has to line up with each piece of track. The next piece to put into place are the master carriers. Again, you should have two of these supplied with the kit that you've purchased. Now, it's important that you put them on at this stage when you're making the track, because if you try and get them on later, you'll discover where you've gone wrong. This is the right way up, and they slide into the track like that now. Now the final piece we need to assemble onto the track before we start to string it are the line guides. These fit onto the end of the track and support the rope as it comes off the end. So our plate with the bolts already fixed will fit onto the end of the track like that and we'll bolt into place and we'll have one of these to go on each half of the track. We're now ready to start threading the track. And a little tip you might want to try is if you're using sash cord, 
If you put a little bit of insulating tape around the top, you'll find it much easier to thread it through. So we start at this pulley and we go up behind the making sure we go behind this little metal bar here. We then go through the pulley and pull it into the track, feeding it through the centre of the track as we go. So we're going to go past the carrier and then out through our line guide which we installed earlier. Carry on all the way down till we get to the pulley at this end. Again, making sure we go on the inside of any of these little steel supports. And then back we go in the other direction. Until we meet up with our master carrier at the other end, which is going to be somewhere near this end of the track. Now it's important to keep tension on the hand line, so we do that by using a weighted pulley like this. Like before, we thread our piece of line through, making sure to go around the pulley, not the steel supports. So it looks like that. As you see, it goes behind those steel supports now. Now for the next bit, you may find it easier if you support the pulley, I can cheat and put it on the table there. And we now start to thread through our second pulley, again, making sure we go round the supports, onto the next piece of track, through the line guide, and we come to the centre like this. Now this is where we tie our finest granny knot. For those of you who are Boy Scouts, left over right and right over left. And you should end up with a reef knot like that. Now this needs to fit over the top of our master carrier. Like so. And what I like to do when I'm doing it properly is to put a cable tie here and here, just to make sure that all holds itself in place. So we pull the master carrier to one end, and we bring this one down this end, and again we just slide I'll call through those two holes and again I would then put a cable tie around that just to make sure it holds itself in place. Now the last part of the track assembly is to put our end stops on. So you put the plate on top of the track and you do the wing bolt up and then we're ready to put our carriers on. So the last bit is to put our drapes on. So we'll do this, we'll assume you're standing at the back of the stage and put the drapes on back to front. We couldn't quite manage a matching pair of colours. And that's all ready to go. So there you are, that's all you need to know on how to put together an overlap track with a handline operation. If you get stuck you'll find there are some PDFs with diagrams on the hallstage.com website or you can get in touch with us and see if we can help you. Thanks for watching.